Michael, New Chrism Desert gameplay was showcased. The white, the epic white horn boss fight. This is Michael Harden from PSU. Real Best has debuted a fresh look at Crimson Desert at Gamescom 2024 this week already due to head of the opening night live, which kind of surprised me, to be honest. Which showcases a epic boss fight against a white horned beast. Dude, it is a massive beast. Crimson Desert was previously confirmed to be appearing at Gamescom, where it will be fully playable with public hands on for the first time. Nice. I was like, oh man, how do we get on that? We're, we're not at Gamescom. <laughs> Crimson Desert is currently in development for PS5, PC, and the Xbox Series X and S. It was originally pitched as a prequel to Black Desert Online. Dude, this game looks incredible. What are your thoughts? Did you check out the trailer? I did check out the trailer. No, I thought it was awesome. The uh, the fight with the uh, the white horned beast. Very uh, generic name. But no, the fight was awesome, right? There's this like snowstorm swirling around. The beast will yeah. jump back. It'll disappear. I thought it was sick. It also felt like if that. I hope that boss fight isn't indicative of the rest of the game because that boss <laughs> had a lot of HP. Uh. You go in. You think you get the kill watching the trailer? No, here's a cutscene. Boss heals up to full. You get another phase. Do it again. I was like, wait, how many phases are there? That was the one thing I took away. I was like, this game looks great. Yep. This game better not have... This better be like, you know, like a, a chapter ending. I don't want to say final boss, but like a chapter ending. Something that's like epic about this fight. Because four plus minutes of just fighting the same boss is going to get repetitive. Even if your game looks amazing. But yeah, you're right. This game looked great. I hope every boss doesn't have the same amount of HP as the White Horde Beast. Cause <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be here forever because I'm not going to dodge as many skills as the Chris in the trailer is doing. But no, looks-wise, I'm sold. I'm ready. Put me in. That game looked great. Yeah, we saw a sneak peek of it last year, too, and I was already pumped then. I'm like, oh, cool, new gameplay. What are we going to get into? The boss fight. I'm like, all right, let's, let's watch this boss fight. And like you say, dude, the minute he beat him the first time, I'm like, okay, are we done? Or are we going back for... Oh, there's round two. Oh man, okay. Oh no, here's round three. I'm like, ah, not that usual. It's a boss fight, so you gotta fight him numerous times because you know what? The first time you took out his health wasn't enough, apparently. He had to rejuvenate himself and come back at you. That annoys me in games, dude. Mm -hmm. There is a. I'm, I'm, I know I'm on one side of it versus the other. I'm not a guy for boss fights. I'd rather just play the campaign and the story and then get through. And if I can like get away from the boss fights, dude, I would happily do that. But I know it's part of the game here. I think the game looks absolutely incredible. So I can't wait to dive in. The biggest question is, man, when are we going to get this game? They've been working on it for so long. And it looks like it's almost ready to go. So are we... Oh, dude. You know what? 2025. Calling it right now. That's when we get this game. Why not? Because 2025 doesn't look busy enough already, does it? <laughs>